The following is a reenactment. I'm bored. Do you want to play Minecraft with me? We can just go kill stuff. Yep. Really? Like, I found a bastion and I want to turn it into a frog light farm. You'll, you'll play with me? Yeah, sure. Let's go kill stuff. All right, everybody. Looks like we're making a terrible tutorial of how to build a frog light farm in survival mode. Step one, get a friend. Check. Step two, make boats. Boats? For, uh, uh, do you have your gold helmet? Yep. Okay, so the boats are for the piglin brutes. Piglin brutes are always aggressive, whereas the piglins are only aggressive if you're not wearing some form of gold armor. So if you catch the brute... Can't I just use the bow and arrow? And... Well, but then everybody goes aggro. If you use the boats, then you can catch them and avoid them. It's easier. But I thought the whole reason you wanted to play was to kill stuff. I'm turning some fire-resistant potions into splash potions so we can share. Okay. Oh, that's surprising. Splash potions have a shorter duration than regular. Well, <laughs> learn something new every day, I guess. Hey, when you're done with that guy, meet me in the nether portal. Ugh, this is terrible path. Why is the path to your portal so terrible? I have no answer for that. Ooh, but if we're going to be dragging frogs up here later, I'm going to have to fix it. Well, we've made it to the outer wall of the bastion, so let's check inside to make sure if it's a treasure variety. Yep, there's lava pools under that bridge. That means we found the right kind. <laughs> Killing them is way more fun than boats. Now what? Well, now we drop gravel into the lava pools to replace all the lava blocks, but try not to get knocked off this bridge into the lava. Oh, hey, little buddy. I'm going to throw the potion. Are you ready? Yes. Do you want the gravel stacks to be high or just the level of the lava? Well, ideally, they should only replace lava or else the magma cubes can jump up and reach us. Okay, uh, now what? The next task is going to be containing the magma cube spawner. So I'm going to cut to a different world that's in creative mode real quick. So you can see what I'm talking about here. This is a magma spawner. They only exist in treasure bastions, and they're the whole reason we're here today. So to contain the spawner or, well, the magma cubes, you need to build a containment box that is 11 by 11 blocks with the spawner in the center. So that's five blocks from every side. The goal is to trap a set of the cubes inside the box to stop the spawner from generating new ones and to keep the cubes from whacking you. That's good. They're annoying. Jeez. Hey, how's it going? <sighs> All right, so I'm taking a breather from getting knocked around so much. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh, hey cuties. So what's in the chest? Oh, what the? Oh, are you kidding me? All right, my friends, your little two block deep hot dub has got to go. Hot tip. If you see a bunch of happy striders, it's probably because they're in a lava pit. Don't fall in. So once you have the spawner contained, you can really get busy filling in the lava pool. So are we all done with the cube cage? Almost. Okay, I'm going to start removing all the gravel. How deep are we going to dig? Um, I don't know. Let's start with 10 deep. Ah, oh, geez. I got a bunch of striders and cubes in that pit. How deep did you go? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I, I'm pretty sure it's deep enough. You just want to be deep enough that as the magma cubes fall, they clear the spawner completely so that the spawner can trigger more cubes. I think the magic number is like nine blocks away from the spawner, but I, I think I did like 16. I don't know. What's the plan now? Well, we need to build a frame that is two blocks off the ground, and that's going to be the floor level for the frogs. And from that level up, I want to build a giant glass box around everything. Okay, I'm on it, but I'm going to log off afterwards. Cool. Well, thanks for your help. I'm going to start cleaning out a little bit under the spawner. Ooh, bonus. Ancient debris. Oh, jeez. Well, okay, I think that's a sign. I need to go do some overworld stuff for a bit. Go touch grass and stuff. Well, so much for sunshine. But, you know, trading with villagers is maybe a rainy day activity. Let's buy all of your glass. You don't even have glass. God, why not? How about you? You have glass? You're not even leveled up to glass. What the heck? Well, this is not being real efficient. All right, let's raid the sugarcane farm and use paper to level you guys up. All right, that's enough glass from y'all. I'm going to go find a beach. The sun is calling me.
Let's load all these in and let them cook while I go deal with frogs. Here we are at the only nearby snowy biome. You might recognize the place if you watch my crafting channel. The first thing we are going to grab here is powdered snow. I'm going to gather 25 buckets of snow for the farm and then just a whole bunch of extra for my own mistakes and, you know, game glitch. While we're here, we're also going to age up some tadpoles. So I have the buckets from a swamp adventure I went on and that plus a stack of slime is all we need. I want three frogs per color, but I'm going to breed up some spares too. Hey, where's your buddies? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I gotta protect you! Okay, here we go into a safe little pool. You two breed, and then we're just gonna hang out here. Wait! No! Okay, little buddy. You're all I have left. You stay here, and I'll be back with more tadpoles. And so began the long saga of breeding frogs and waiting for tadpoles to hatch. Oh jeez, are you kidding me? Get in my bucket! Oh, where was I? But in the end, I have the orange frogs I need from the plains biome, plus the two white ones I found in a swamp, and a bunch of tadpoles in a bucket. So, here I am, back in my snowy biome patch, and as an added insult, I only have three slime balls left. So, I have to just wait for the tadpoles to grow up by standing here. What the heck? Seriously? The best way to transport frogs is over water. Just saying. Okay, I'm back at base. I have a chest of redstone components for the collection system, a chest of tadpole stuff, a chest of glass, and a chest of powdered snow. Let's start with the redstone and the glass and head back into the nether. Oh great, a welcoming committee. I'm building this platform out of stone and then I'm going to add in two long rows of redstone block. This is all to power the collection system. Now there may be better ways, but this is what I did. I'm just going to slow down my screen here and point out all the parts of this contraption. Solid blocks, redstone torch, lever, four powered rail, four hoppers, four chests, uh, another powered rail, big block of redstone. Yeah, great. You can build that all by yourself now. So let's finish this up by adding the rail and the powered rail. Just follow my special pattern for success. Also, be sure to go from one side to the other so the rail doesn't try and loop back on itself. Oh, geez, really? Now here is where I made the brilliant mistake of making a minecart with a chest instead of a minecart with a hopper. But anyway, that's foreshadowing. I mean, I had to keep the footage in in order to show you how the track works. So let's watch this thing roll around the track. Watch out, Mr. Enderman. Oops, it's supposed to come back. Okay, so good thing it didn't, so I can show you what to add to the far side so that the mine cart returns automatically. You need more powered rail. The end. Okay, let's try again. And now we watch the little cart go back and forth. And you wonder, Bobbin, can't you edit a little tighter? Hmm. Woohoo, it worked. Okay, now we get to build the frog level and then drag down all those frogs. So I made my floor out of glass so that I could easily see if the mine cart gets stuck, but you do you. For this next step, you're gonna place any solid block in a grid pattern as shown, and then place a block of powdered snow on top. You break the solid block, leaving the powdered snow suspended. The frogs are only one block high, so they'll take a tiny bit of damage when they jump, but they're not going to be killed by the snow. The magma cubes, on the other hand, will take the damage and they'll break apart until they're only one block high. But at that stage, the frogs will gobble them up and spit out the frog lights. Man, I tell you, I am so impressed with whoever came up with this whole farm concept. I learned how to build this by watching Pixel Rifts build one in Empire Season 2. So thanks to him. And this is the moment when I realized that the mine cart with a chest is not going to ever pick up anything. Better. Okay, snow's all in, and now for the frogs. These frogs behind me are going to get led into the nether with slime balls and leashes, 
but I only have two of the hot climate white frogs and I want three. Don't worry, I have a plan. In this chest, I have a bunch of tadpoles. Oh yeah, did I mention I had to go find a whole slime chunk in my free time? I did. Yes, I did. Frog light farms are epic. Anyway, I also have some splash potions of water breathing and what I'm going to do with them is super cool. So just stay tuned. But first, let's drag the first batch, I mean lead the first batch of frogs into the nether. I'm doing this with a combination of leads and slime balls. And I'm going to be bringing in three at a time. Wait, what? Ugh, whatever. The orange ones are the second easiest to replace. Moving on. To get these guys through the portal, I recommend hopping through in the overworld and just holding the slime ball in your hand. The frogs will come towards you, but they're going to pass through into the nether. And then you pass through and just leash them up on the other side and off you go. For the final white frog, I dug a hole in the nether, tossed in the tadpole, splashed it with water breathing potion, and then quickly sped up its growth with the slime ball. This has to be the easiest method for getting a frog close to your farm. All right, buddy, let's hop into your new home. Oh, we're in the final stretch, y'all. Still with me? All that's left is finishing, ow, Ugh. The, the glass wall, and then digging out all around the spawner without getting myself killed or dropping a load of gravel on one of the frogs. Oops. Oh, done. Now we can just stand up here and watch the magma cubes break into smaller and smaller cubes and then get gobbled up by the frogs. Please be sure to make yourself a safe space to AFK. You are still in the nether after all, and everything here wants to kill you. Okay, well, maybe not that guy. Let's check in these chests to see what we've got. Got the magma cream and all three colors. Cool, cool. Okay, get, get, push, okay. All right. Ah, well, thanks for watching my terrible tutorial. Let me know if it was helpful for you making your own farm in survival mode. Bye.